that we live at a moment when propaganda has never been so pervasive, has never been so uh, influential, has never been so uh, dangerous. And I mean propaganda. I know that the word sounds terribly quaint. I say propaganda, people think of, uh, you know, Chinese voices coming squawking over loudspeakers in, in Beijing, or they think of Soviet posters, right? Or Nazi propaganda. They think of Lenny Riefenstahl. Uh, actually, uh, propaganda is not a totalitarian phenomenon primarily, although we, we have long since learned to think that it is, right? Propaganda is as American as apple pie. Propaganda at its most sophisticated was perfected, and I mean not just political propaganda, but commercial propaganda. Both kinds of propaganda were perfected jointly by the United States and Britain. You know, in Mein Kampf, Hitler, in his famous chapter on war propaganda, talks about how deeply he admired what a brilliant job the British propagandists had done in World War I, had nothing but contempt for the German propaganda, and, and you know, resolved to make sure that his own and the Nazi party's propaganda would be brilliant in imitation of the British, you see? So, you know, uh, how, how many people does the, the world of propaganda employ in the United States, if you think about it? I mean, it isn't only people in public relations. It's also people in advertising agencies. It's also people in the world of so-called public diplomacy. It's also people in the world of what we call lobbying. There are countless euphemisms that we use today for propaganda, right? If you go up to a person in an ad agency or a PR specialist and say, well, uh, how's the propaganda going, you know? They're gonna be insulted. They're gonna feel like you've, you've called them a dirty name. They don't understand that they do propaganda, right? They do propaganda. And the rise of all those euphemisms for it is a direct result of the successful effort to cast propaganda as something that they do in those closed societies. The Russians do it, the Chinese do it, the Iranians do it, the Venezuelans do it, the Cubans do it. We don't do it. We educate people. We provide them with information. And that uh, misrepresentation of propaganda has had the paradoxical effect of making it extraordinarily effective. See, because propaganda works best when you don't see it for what it is. The 